Hey everyone, this is Ryan Bush. I've got something really cool for you today. This is kind of like um, a discovery of mine that I came up with, uh, came across recently. So I put out a video a uh, couple months ago dealing with Tony Romo um, in his rookie season. How close was he to being the starter? Was he the best quarterback in 2003 for the Cowboys? Why didn't he start? And my explanation was that ultimately it came down to Romo turned the ball over too much. And Parcells saw that pretty much from the outset of training camp. So in, in his, even though in a lot of ways Romo ran the offense better than Quincy Carter and Chad Hutchinson, Parcells never let that's the theory that Romo was the better quarterback get started within the media. He squelched that right off the bat. And But here's what I didn't know. Okay, so the Cowboys begin it, the whole training camp. Parcells focus, let it focus on Quincy Carter and Chad Hutchinson. That was the quarterback battle. Which one would come out ahead? But Romo was a player, and Romo was a player in the battle more than I, more than I knew. Okay, here's the story. Here's what I found out. Preseason 2003, the Cowboys start out with Arizona. They're at Arizona. And I think it was a Saturday night game. You know, it's 110 degrees there. All eyes are on the two quarterbacks, Carter and Hutchinson. And they both stunk it up. Romo comes in there, and he, he plays pretty good. And they he's driving the team down on one drive, winds up fumbling the ball away inside the 10-yard line. But nevertheless, he played pretty good. Needs to watch the fumbling, but hey. The next week, okay, the Cowboys are going to be coming home for the second preseason game to face the Texans. Big game. Somebody needs to step up in this quarterback battle. Once again, all eyes are going to be on Chad Hutchinson, Quincy Carter. But before the game, Bill Parcells goes to Tony Romo and he says, Hey, look, look, Tony, it's a big night for you. If you play well tonight, if you play well, you're looking at getting some serious time at quarterback this season. And this was, a ch this was a challenge for Romo and a test. And how did Romo do? Well, not so good. He wound up, he, he, you know Romo. He got excited and he couldn't, you know, he didn't, however you want to put it, he didn't compartmentalize with uh, inside of his brain. He got too excited. He fumbled the first snap. I think he threw a pick. It wasn't good. And from that moment, he was moved out. Parcells did not consider him for the starting job. He didn't even, Romo didn't even play the next game, the next preseason game against Pittsburgh. But the job was offered to Romo, the starting job for the 2003 Cowboys. I never knew that. And how I found this out was I was doing some research for, um, just on Drew Henson. I'm just reading articles, you know, some, you know, boring articles, nothing really intriguing about them. I'm just going through them. And it was from an article about two th from 2005 about Drew Henson and uh, Todd Archer of the Dallas Morning News reflected back to that moment when Parcells basically offered the starting job to Tony Romo. And Tony proved himself a little bit young, a little bit green in multiple ways to handle that, that kind of pressure. But, um, hey, it was there. Tony Romo, starting quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys as a rookie. Yeah, it could have happened.